Look around you. Look around you. Just look around you. There. Now take a closer look. Have you worked out what we're looking for? Correct. The answer is calcium. This program, Calcium, follows last week's module and will complete part one of your textbook which accompanies this series. Please ensure that you have your copy book at hand as you'll be asked to take down notes from the screen at various points throughout the program. Calcium. You may know it as Ginny or Ninny or Peter's Peg. But whatever you call it, calcium, valency 1, atomic weight 44, is one of the most important elements known to mankind. As we have seen, calcium occurs naturally within the tooth. Thus, man's very existence is inextricably linked to the white element. Without calcium, man would be unable to process foods and would starve. In this program, we will attempt to show the many uses of calcium as well as a number of experiments. Experiment 1. An experiment was carried out to ascertain whether calcium is soluble in water. First, a quantity of calcium was obtained. Using a mortar and pestle, the calcium is then ground into a fine dust. The chalky dust is poured into a beaker. Next, the beaker is placed under a running tap. You can use distilled water, but be aware of the cost. The calcium water mixture is agitated using a glass rod or pencil. It is then allowed to settle for a while. So, is calcium soluble? Look closely before making your decision. Have you observed the chalky deposit at the base of the beaker? If you have, then you'll have reached the conclusion that no. Calcium is insoluble. There is a reason for this. Can you work out what it is? Correct. If calcium were soluble, then our teeth would be open to corrosion through daily contact with saliva. Again, man would be unable to process foods and would starve. Here is a model of a calcium molecule. Do you recognize the triple helix? If you do, write it down. The calcium molecule is built on the semi-permanent structure of four electrons supporting three protons. The protons feed electrical information to the core of the molecule where we find the central atom or queen atom. 
Were the queen atom to leave the molecule, or nest, the effects would be disastrous, as the entire structure would come tumbling down. This is known as the Helvetica scenario. Luckily, Helvetica is a very, very rare occurrence. The Staffordshire Downs. 200 square miles of rolling countryside. And it's here, amongst the jewel of the northwest, that we can observe calcium in action. Holdwick Park Refinery has been producing industrial strength calcium for over 20 years. Chances are, if you've ever written with a calcium nib or peered through a calcium lens, they've probably come from Holdwick. Let's step inside. Have your copy books ready. Every day, six tons of discarded teeth and bones are brought to Holdwick. They're collected from the various calcic drop-off points around Great Britain. You may have seen one in your town or village. Because calcium perspires, by the time it reaches Holdwick, there's a lot of water to be removed. The teeth and bones are poured into giant canisters and any excess runoff is filtered away. The dried calcium is then pumped along these pipes. When it reaches this trough, a kind of glorified Besselheim, it's bombarded with millions upon millions of cesium atoms. This process compresses the calcium into a viscose paste. The calcic paste is then heated in giant ovens to 12,000 BC before being left to cool. From six tons of raw material and nearly 900 man-hours later, here are the results. Some 12 ounces of pure industrial calcium. This is then stored in an underground lead chamber to prevent the possibility of Helvetica. Now let's take a look at some of the ways in which calcium is used. Have your pen and paper ready. Calcium can be used to make powerful adhesives. It's also used as a strengthening agent in bridges, windows, and was pivotal in the development of Imsimul Bharati Lan. Calcium also occurs naturally in liquid form. You'll know it as milk. In the Jewish religion, it is forbidden to eat milk and meat at the same meal. Foods that contain dairy products are referred to as milchig.